as we know, this channel is all about my drive towards being, feeling normal, and this feels makes me feel abnormal when I can't do it. Today, I want to discuss something personal. A feeling I get that makes me mad at myself and acting like an idiot. It's not super healthy, but it's something I need to work on. My name is Hannes, and welcome to Trainerds. Me, Martin and Lisa went bouldering again this week. It all started out fun and awesome as always, but then something happened. Hannes is not climbing, tell us what happened. I'm just uh, very, very pissed right now. I hate this so fucking much, okay? Uh, I think I have over... Um, I pushed my limits, I think. <laughs> my arms, I have extreme pain in my arms. In, in like the tendons between the biceps and the forearms. I think I overtrained them, basically. There's nothing I hate more in this world than when my body limits me, limits me with anything. So, I don't know. I just... breaks my heart every time. You felt pain already after the first boulder, but then you did like a third and a second one with the pain. Well, yeah, how? I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, what did you think? <laughs> I don't know. Because I hate so much feeling that I can't do it. Yeah. As we know, this channel is all about my drive towards being, feeling normal. And this feels makes me feel abnormal when I can't do it. This is unreasonable, idiotic behavior. But, as I've talked about before... A lot of my journey towards becoming healthier and stronger stems from my desire of feeling quote-unquote normal. Growing up a bit of an outcast due to some personal stuff, I spent a lot of time growing up looking longingly at other kids when they moved around freely in the world with no worries. I always just wanted to be normal, like them. And when I later in life spiraled into obesity and self-loathing, the sense of feeling abnormal just grew stronger. And that's why this stuff affects me so much. I just want to feel like all the other humans around me. I don't want my body to limit me. I can't see clearly in those moments. Of course, I can't overwork my muscles and joints. My body has to lift 125 kilos for God's sake. And I had been going at it very hard in the gym lately. It's no wonder my body gets fatigued. It's just a feeling that's difficult to shake off. I have a really strong mind. I can push through challenges because I'm terrified of being less than everyone else. In most cases, this works out great. I get good results from it. And that is why I got so damn impressed when Lisa did her amazing feat when we went bouldering. She went beyond her limits. If she would have been completely reasonable, she wouldn't have climbed that problem. But she did it anyway and fucking conquered it. She went so hard that her body got struck by panic and shock. Yes. Yes. Du är nära nu. Oh, yes. Yes. Ta det varandra, Ansha. Du kan hoppa ner, det är okej. Ner på röven. Nej, men ner på fötterna. Det går bra, Lisa. Du är en meter över marken. Det går bra. Yeah! Hey, fam, how brave you are! Fam, how modern you are! So brave. Over when they feel like that. Here I am complaining about my arms. It's so impressive. Well done. Well done. Wow, that was insane. On the scorpion. Yeah? <laughs> She's shaking. Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what made you do it? I couldn't. 
couldn't not do it. <laughs> In Lisa's case, it went all right. She won over her head. I too can often do these things, beating my mind, but I need to be careful of not overdoing it. I have a tendency to even go beyond when something is hurting, which is just plain stupid. But it comes out of fear of being a lesser human, if that makes sense. And I can't let single events determine how I feel about myself. A couple of days before we went bouldering, I had a killer session in the gym. I tried doing something called a dragon flag, which is notoriously a very difficult exercise. Oh yeah. How low can you go? How low can you go? <laughs> oh, do you did that? No, I do fix it. Come in. Be fun. Up, 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 up. Lo and behold, I fucking did a pretty strict dragon flag. Hannes, let's take a moment and be proud of that achievement. Not everybody can do that. There's nothing normal about that. In fact, when I see the Valkyries, Teresa and Lisa struggle with the exercise, people I deem way above myself in athletic abilities, I should really pat myself on the back. I'm doing awesome at the moment in the gym. But we're all human after all, and we always tend to focus on the negative aspects. And as soon as I got the pain from the bouldering, that set my mood for the rest of the week. Now I've had a couple of days when I got some distance from the whole situation, and I can look back with sober eyes. I understand my reaction, and I understand that I need to work on myself mentally to be more forgiving towards myself in the future. I'm no lesser human because I had to take a break. Now the arms feel pretty much okay again. It appeared to be slightly inflamed bicep tendons. So I rested them for a couple of days and the inflammation have pretty much gone away. I don't know if all this makes sense to you guys, but I need to get this out there and talk about it to better understand my own head. It fucking sucks being reminded that I can't do everything I want to do, yet. I will get there if I'm smart and reasonable about it so I can avoid unnecessary injuries. End of rant. Now I want to look forward and I want to look at something that's more positive. And what better way than looking at you guys. Week in and week out, you're here supporting me. It means the world to me, so thank you all for being here. A special thanks to all the wonderful patrons. More and more are joining and it means so much. So thank you. And as always, I want you all to know that you, you are awesome. Ooh oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs>